and welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today today I'm going to be having a go at doing this little rabbit picture it's one I've had in the filing cabinet for a while I'm assuming I got it off Pixabay at some point and so it's a nice clear photograph you get you can see all the detail in his face there and I wanted to have a go at it using the Derwent tinted charcoal which I rather like because there's some lovely colors in here that we could use for these muted browns and greys in his fur so I'll just pop those to one side for a moment and I thought I would do it on this pastel paper and as you can see it comes in all these colours so we've got it's a lovely pad this one I've used it a few times now so it's a Clairefontaine pad and altogether there's eight different colours and I had a quick flick through and this colour here if we look again at the photograph I'm not sure if you can pick it up but if you can see on the back of his neck here it's quite a warm colour very very similar to this but also this has a bit of a fleck in it similar to the greys that are in his fur there so I did settle on that one I, I had thought that maybe this one here was also quite a nice match for him for some of the colours there so you could sort of draw negatively if you like and leave some of that if you were doing it on this colour but I will settle with um, this one here because I think that's going to look rather pretty having that nice brighter colour behind. So I'll go ahead now and do the drawing in pens in these charcoal pencils. One or two of these are going to want sharpening. This is the only sort of downside to these really is when you sharpen them you do feel like sometimes you can lose a bit of them. They snap a little bit in one thing and another but uh, a good selection of colours there for doing this rabbit I think. So I'll come back to you at the end and see how we've got on with that.
Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Quite a difficult thing to do to try and emulate those colours. They're not uh, perfect by any means because obviously we're competing with the colour of the paper. Um, so whatever colour we put on is affected by the paper, you know, when it mixes together. But also you've got a limited range of colours here and they're very, very muted. But I'm quite pleased with the actual shape of it and, I've, and the tones. I think it, uh, it's turned out okay. So you can notice I used a few different techniques there. Some of it softening it off to give a bit more body to the rabbit and some of it leaving some sharper edges and sharper lines to get that form on the line there. So if you use a combination of both. But let the paper show through because if you've gone to the trouble of getting these lovely coloured papers you want to make the most of them and, and have that showing through. So I'll just move those. So you'll see what I've used there is just one of the paper stumps and keep a piece of tissue or something ha handy just to keep cleaning the end off when you're using different colours. So I've left all this very sort of loose and muted here, which is disappearing into the grass. I didn't want to put too much detail here. Keep the detail for the head and the face, which is the important part, really. So I'll just quickly go through the colours here that I used. Ocean Deep, I put a little touch of that on the top of his ears. To me, it just looked like there was a touch of blue in there. So that was the Ocean Deep. The next one here we've got was the green moss I used for the grass there. The white for the highlights and lots of he has lots of fluff and underneath this little baby fluff is all white. And then here we've got peat, which I use for the browns, although on here it's a much warmer brown, but that's the only brown really that I had in there that would really do that. Natural, I use that. It's got a nice sort of grey, soft grey colour, and I use that for doing the drawing to get the initial shape really, and then it just blended away into the other colours. And then the dark, which is very dark, and I just use that really on his eye and these little darkest bits of shadow um, that you can see here, and just to pick up one or two of these of these lines just to sharpen them up. Okay, so that was everything with those. I re like I've said before, I really like this little tin. You can see I've used them quite a bit now. One or two of them are getting a little bit shorter there. Um, and you can use them with water as well, but of course you'd need um, a, paper, a different paper. This paper doesn't take water. Okay, and really good for landscapes. So I'll call that a day for now and I'll be back again soon with some more tutorials, videos on all sorts of different topics and media. And I'll look forward to seeing you then. If you have any comments, if you want to put those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, don't forget there's also a little bell that you need to um, click on and then you'll get notifications of when my new videos are out. But they're out every Monday and Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so thanks for watching and bye for now.